Hi, this is Pat Dignan from Image Arts. Um, this is step two of making a box uh, videos. This is we're going to go through the steps to make a 3D image of a packaging box. Um, after we left off in the last video, uh, I had just started to uh, to break out uh, the sections of this box here, and I've done some more work on the on the box since then. I've added uh, uh, a lot more segments here between each fold so that uh, when we do fold it up we'll get a, a smooth a smooth uh, bend in it instead of a like a knife edge turn um, in the box since you don't get a real uh, super sharp edge on a cardboard box uh, we don't want to have one on our uh, 3d box either I've also added depth to the um, to the uh, to the box here I had a little over a millimeter of depth so that uh, when we fold it up you can see the sides of the uh, of the uh, box of the cardboard and um, and I've also um, assigned materials to this this green texture um, is just it's only green just to let me know that that it's different than the uh, than the cardboard that's on the on the inside the uh, white um, surface that's on the inside of the box um, in order to put the picture of what the label will look like on the outside of the box, um, we need to first select all the parts of the box that aren't um, in that, and uh, we'll hide them, make them uh, go away, then um, go to a front view and reduce this down. Go to our UV tool here. We already have this. Um, hmm, it picked a <laughs> picked a, a different image than I would have preferred um, in here, but we can change that pretty easily. Um, there we go. Um, what we're going to do is project this box image into this space, and what that does is it we're going to put a picture in there with the um, with the um, here we go. Um, we've put the put a flattened version of this into this space when we add a picture to this it will assign every, everywhere where there's corners where the parts connect um, whatever's on the picture at that point will be mapped to this part of the of the box so no matter like when I fold this up um, the picture will go with the box as it it'll move with the box it's like being glued to the surface of the box and no matter how much I move it or uh, deform it, it will still be part of that box. So in order, now that we have a, a UV map of that, uh, we can go here and um, add a layer, an image map, and um, we'll start out with the box of air. And you see it jumps, it goes on here right away, and it doesn't line up perfectly because um, the the placement of the uh, of the map here on top of the picture isn't perfect, so we'll uh, we'll go back to oops didn't need to do that. Um, I need to get the uh, polygons. Double click on all the polygons, zoom way in here, and use the move tool to move this down and over so that that the box is lining up just right there we'll put that over there um, then we'll use the um, size tool put that right in the middle right on that spot we want to um, size this up so that it or down I'm sorry so that it matches the box and you can see how if I make this smaller the texture gets bigger it's it's kind of working um, backwards of um, what I'm doing with the with the size of the image over here so basically I'm taking that that box or that picture and I'm sticking it on this box so now if we if we look at this in perspective mode that 
that picture is stuck onto the box. And I can change that, um, change the box or whatever I want, like I have a different design for the box of air. So I have a different file um, here and I can just as quick as going like this, I can change whichever box is on, uh, or whichever uh, map is put on the box. Uh, so with that done, we'll unhide the, red, the uh, geometry that was behind, uh, that adds the thickness to it, and we're ready to fold up the box. And we'll do that in the next video.